Palace, the county governments, Kenyans still have questions about the success and understanding of the devolved system. Or can I second sample some of the opinions and compiled this report? I will truly and diligently serve the people and the Republic of Kenya. The devolved system of government is enshrined in Kenya's 2010 constitution, and after the 2013 general election, it was a new chapter in Kenya's history, the journey of devolution. It has been a walk of about four years since the county governments came into being. But how much do Kenyans know about the two levels of governance? Uh, wananchi wamefikiwa na yale maendeleo ambao ambao hawawezi kuafikia kama inatekelezwa na serikali kuu kwa serikali za ungatusi ni ni uongozi ambao umeletwa ndio utuletee karibu mamlaka na ngufu za utawala kuja karibu na sisi kama wenyeji while a section of Kenyans appreciate the existence of the two levels of governance, some are just clueless, and to them, nothing is different. At the heart of devolution is taking resources to the grassroots level, where Wanjiku dwells. Uh, doing a lot in terms of uh, infrastructure, in particular water, provision of water. And the, the current government is also doing quite a lot in terms of uh, maintenance of roads, especially the so-called rural roads. Mambo mingi ile ilikuwa sisi inatosumbua, ukitaka kitu, kama ni obisi, unataka kuenda ya obisi, unakimbia Nairobi, sisi tunaona imekwisa vika karibu kwa sababu, ukitaka kuona minister wangirigasa, unaenda unamuona pale. Tumeona katika mambo ya afya na utipabu, serikali imesaidia sana kupata matibabu ya bure, pia imesaidia sana mambo hata zile zingine ambazo nisa serikali kuu kama mambo ya, ya mashamba, but county governments have had their fair share of challenges, some of which are crystal clear to the public. What I don't like generally across all the devolved units is corruption. It has become the bottleneck of the original meaning of devolution. Kuna mambo kadha wakadha ambao aipendesi kwa ungatusi kwa sasa. Kabila umeenea kabisa ambabo kwa kila kaunde watu wanaegemea sana watu wao. When health was default, we have so many crises, so many strikes. I'm a victim. So many of our relatives have died because of these strikes. Doctors strikes, nurses strikes. We are mixed up. We have been printing so much. Let the national government take over. And even the never-ending supremacy battles between the elected leaders has caught the attention of Kenyans. Kwanza viongozi, kama the senators, the, gov the governors, wanarushiana. For example, kama kuna, kuna barabari ina pause kutekelezwa, unasikia governor nasema hii ni a national government, hii ni a county government. Sasa uwezi uelewa ni, ni a county government ama ni a national government. For Patrick, nothing defines the county government better than taxes. And beyond these levies, he knows absolutely nothing. Governors remain at the center of devolution, and with the first time already gone, Kenyans can only hope that the county chiefs have learned and borrowed lessons, and that by the end of the next five years, they will not only have a better understanding of county governments and their functions, but will feel the fruits of devolution at grassroots level. Kenaseka, KTN News. All right, so indeed, apart from the NASA petition, this is also a bigger conversation about uh, devolution. We have uh, 23 newcomers uh, who are taking over office as uh, governors. And today, Siolo governor-elect Mohamed Kuti, um, who's, who's also newly elected 